Galaxy Black Hole. Well, Newton, please do the honors of explaining to us about black holes. Most certainly. Okay, since we know that massive object bends space time, what if we have a really massive object? I mean, really, really, stupendously massive object. You mean like this object? Yes! So if I were to place this on the fabric, what do you see? Wow! I see that the slope of this bending is almost infinite. Indeed. If you imagine that this marble is a ray of light, and you let your object this massive object, you will see that this marble has no way of escaping. Just like we said previously, gravity does not pull light into the massive object. Instead, the massive object bends space-time so much that light just follows the space-time. Yes, so when the object becomes extremely massive, the slope of this band becomes almost infinite, hence light is not able to escape this almost infinite slope. Okay, besides light being unable to escape a black hole, there are some other interesting things happening near a black hole. Tell us what they are, Newton. Okay, there is an area near a black hole called the event horizon. Okay. We can assume that this ring is the event horizon. This one? Okay. Of the black hole. As light nears this event horizon, it slows down. At the event horizon, light actually stops. And time too. So if you want to be young at 25 forever, take a trip to the event horizon of the black hole. Wow. But make sure to stay exactly at the event horizon. So what, why why must I stay exactly at the event horizon? Well, as you approach the event horizon, time slows down the concept called time dilation, and light slows down too. At the event horizon, both light and time stops. Now what happens beyond the event horizon is scary. What happens beyond the event horizon? Well, it is still a hypothesis since nobody has been there, of course, and back to tell what happened. But some scientists believe that beyond the event horizon, light accelerates beyond the speed of light, and when it gets ripped apart and pulled into the singularity at the center of the black hole. That's really so scary, man. Indeed. Why not have more fun with this black hole of ours? Okay. Yes, let's throw some marbles into an orbit in this black hole. You can see, as you throw the marble, that it travels together and then it's split apart like a spaghetti. Yes, this spaghetti pie. Come, let's try this again. You see this? Whoa, that's just cool, isn't it? And you can also see how the speed goes more and more as it goes nearer to the singularity in the middle of the black hole. Well, watch out for our next video on why most objects in the universe revolve in the same direction.